Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to Carried Away. What is Carried Away, you ask? I like to call it a physics based ski lift building game. It's gonna enter Steam Early Access on the 4th of October, and this is what it looks like. So, this game is about building ski lifts in the vein of Bridge Builder. So, we have a bunch of skiers over here, they want to get over there, and we have a hill in the middle, so we have to build a ski lift for them to get over that hill. Uh, we have certain materials available we have planks, we have logs, we have wheels, and stuff like that, and we're gonna build a, um, a, a lift. So, let's just do that. Let's build a very simple one, like, like this, maybe. As you can see, we can. Put those together, then we can put a wheel on there. You can take the rope, put it over the wheel, and start going. And now you can see the skiers getting in the chair, uh, in the chairlift, and going over the hill. And that's probably failing. Yeah, there we go. It broke down because it's not strong enough. And um, well, we have to try again. Okay, so that's the basics. Um, in this level, we have two locks available. Locks are more expensive, but also much stronger than planks and can be longer than them. Um, everything we build costs money and there is a medal for not overspending your budget, but you can to complete the level. So you don't have to restrict yourself to budget, but uh, in order to get all the medals, you have to, well, not overspend. So um, yeah, locks more expensive, but way more useful. And uh, however, they are limited in this level to only two locks. So we can build two locks. So I think it's a good idea to start out with two locks like this. And then we switch to the planks and build the rest with planks. And I think we're gonna try something along the, this way maybe. And then try to go from there with something along those lines. You can right click um, the, the, the knots to move them around. That's quite useful. In general, the UI for this game is pretty good, or the like the controls for the game work really, really well for the most part. There are a few small things um, that are a little bit confusing. I'm going to show you that in a moment as well. But for the most part, the controls for this game are fantastic. Um, it works really smooth. Um, everything is just it just re works really, really well. The controls are fairly intuitive, and um, there are hotkeys for everything. Rebindable, I might add. And um, yeah, it's really good. So let's see if that holds. Probably not. It's probably gonna break somewhere. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of force over there. You can turn off the force indicator, by the way, if you want to. Uh, so that one broke. Maybe that's too high anyway. Let's get rid of those things. We can press D or backspace or delete, I think. That's the default controls anyway, to um, get rid of parts. So let's see if that's better. We can speed up a little bit as well. No, it doesn't look good. Maybe. Nope, not strong enough. Um, we could probably get rid of this. We don't need those, don't we? Well, we could. Well, we, we could get, we could use those. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, by supporting a little bit more over here. Let's see, that looks, doesn't really look better. No, now it breaks down, oh, down there. We can probably fix that by just doing something like that. That should work. It might break somewhere else though. No, it looks good. Okay. And now you can see the skiers going over there. You can actually turn the camera and zoom in and look them go. Woo! <laughs> they're kind of cute. I like the art style. And uh, the skiers are just. They're just cute. <laughs> so I also accidentally collected the star. Well, not accidentally, but didn't really. That was not really my goal. I just got it, I guess. Um, so I, complete, I got all the medals for this level with this build because I didn't break anything, I didn't kill anyone. Um, I didn't overspend, I got, and I got the star. So I basically perfected that level. Um, you can still probably, or you can still obviously go for a high score by trying to get um, the spent money as low as possible, for example. Um, so yeah, that's an option. So, okay, um, let's go to a different level, shall we? There are not only chair lifts, there are also drag lifts. So let's go to this level and show you how those work. So this is a drag lift. And um, the problem with drag lifts is, or not a problem, but the, the difficulty is uh, to get them, to, to keep them close to the ground. Because if the skier feels like he's not on the ground anymore, like he's getting too high, he will let go of the lift. So he's not gonna, gonna get lift in the air, lifted in the air. So you have to keep them close to, to the ground. So if we just do this, um, the skier will go over here. I, I at least assume that's not working. I've never tried that. Would be a pretty silly level if you would not... Wait, that just works. Does this just work? Okay, this level is maybe not playtested enough. Or it's on purpose to make you overthink things. Anyway, <laughs> that was easy. Wait, let's... 
Let's let me demonstrate what I actually want to show you anyway. So if you build <laughs> I never tried that. That was fucking silly. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh great. I, I wonder if that's on purpose or if that was just not play tested. <laughs> Might be both. So if we just build a huge tower and put a wheel on this and do this, then the skier will let go. Or well, the tower breaks, so it's not a good demonstration of what I want to show you, but let's just, oops, let's just put more planks in to make it a little bit more stable. That might break there. There we go. He let go. There we go. So that's not what you want. He got to start though, so that's good, I suppose. So what I, um, what I actually planned on doing was building something like this and then get the rope below the the wheel. So now he's getting pretty close to the ground, or he's keeping pretty close to the ground, so that should, should work out very well. I can speed this up a little bit. There we go. And he makes it up there, and down he goes. Doo -doo -doo. Unfortunately, they don't really do turns. Like, if they get to, to make a turn. Um, oh, this time he fell in his steps. <laughs> They just uh, teleport around, but um, yeah, I, I guess the developers were too lazy to implement, well, the skiers taking turns, I guess. Um, so, taking a corner. Anyway, so uh, what is there else? Um, so there's one more thing. Um, you can also build jumps and bridges and actually control the skiers going over them. So in this level, we have to get over there. We can press uh, WASD to control the skier like lean in front and backwards, um, crouch and jump, basically. So I can crouch to get a little quicker, and then whew, jump and die. So that's not gonna work this way. So in this level we have uh, jumps and supports available for building, so we can build a jump. So we do, do exactly that. I guess we start a little bit more like that, and then maybe get a little higher, that might be enough. We'll find out. I also like, um, you might notice, like, look at this part. Um, it will highlight when I'm in range to connect it. So that's, I think, really good UI design. Um, I really like that. It works really well. Okay, not long enough for that. I guess we do something like that in that case. So let's see if that's enough. So we go crouch, and then we take the jump. You can also do, like, flips and stuff. <laughs> that was not great. Um, I guess we have to build it a little different. Maybe I can do better when I time the jump correctly. No, we're not just not quick enough. So what we're gonna do is we smooth that down a little bit and see if that's enough. We not quite. So I guess we build it a little longer. Uh, let's actually keep that straight and do it this way. Can we, we can support like that, that should work, right? Oi! there we go. And we made it through. Perfect, <laughs> great. Okay, so uh, let me show you something really quick now. So if, if you're in a level and let's say you wanna jump to a different level because you just wanna abandon on this for some reason, um, there's no actually way to get back to the level select screen besides either completing the level which we just saw, then you can press the button next level, which actually brings you to the level select screen, or go back to the main menu, which is one of the weird parts of the UI. Like, it would be nice to just have a button to go back to the level select, not have me click this again, that's a little annoying, especially because it always starts you out in the first world. And, uh, well, does it? I'm not sure, I think it does. Let, let me show you one of the levels in the second world, um, because in this world there was a new mechanic being introduced, um, you can uh, you can place down foundations in this level only one. Well, that's not too interesting. Let's get to, get to another one. And now you see exactly what I mean. I want to get to another level without beating this one. I have to go back here. It actually starts in the second world. Never mind. Okay, so it keeps track on where you're coming from. And um, in this level, we have two foundations already, but we can also place another two. So probably place one over here and one maybe over here. We have locks available, that's good. Usually 
quite useful for building high things. Uh, why is this red? Can't build it. I guess the foundation is placed wrongly. Um, there's, there's, this is actually, okay. Now, this is the biggest issue I have with the UI because it actually, um, I just encountered this because I just entered World 2 where foundation, foundations are a thing. But this is actually hindering from you, you from playing. Um, you cannot, once you place down a foundation, you cannot change it anymore. You cannot delete it. You cannot move it. You can't do nothing. You cannot select it anymore. So that's a real big issue. I think the developers have to fix that. It's, that it's early access, so they still have time to do that, I guess. But that's that's like really weird because the rest of controls work really really fine but the foundations just doesn't work just don't work you, ca you can't move them or anything or if you can it's at least not obvious to me how to do so the only option is to clear all and then you can replace them but as soon as they're down you can't change them anymore and that seems to be like that's not a good way of doing things so yeah that's a little weird um, anyway you can also record um, like you try at the or like like the go the, the run I guess or um uh, and shared with other people. There is a sandbox mode. It's called sandbox mode. It's not a sandbox mode. It's a level editor. Um, so you can build your own level. So you can we can build a mountain here if we want to. Da -da -da. You can create a mountain and put things on there. A gondola start. I guess we have to build a little bigger. And uh, shell of start stuff like that. So there are gondolas. I'm as well, apparently. <laughs> a magic carpet? Oh, oh, a magic carpet. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It's not really a magic carpet. It's a magic carpet um, in the skiing sense of the word. And you can put riders down here. Dip, 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 if you want to. And well, you can create those levels and share them via Steam Workshop. So that's integrated as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. There are multi-stage multi levels as well later on. I saw. I didn't uh, play them yet, but I saw some pictures or videos of those. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, there are more features planned, like right now there are like, uh, I think 50 levels or something, um, like 40 in this level, uh, four, well, pfft, no mind. Um, four worlds, or three worlds actually, no, four, three worlds and a tutorial, and all three worlds have 14 levels and a tutorial, a tutorial has another seven, that's not 15, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is 50. Um, but the developers plan on doing more than 100, the game will is supposed to release sometimes 2018, um, as I said, they're planning on more than 100 levels, which is pretty amazing, and they're looking for more features as well, um, like, uh, uh, pff, uh, I forgot, oh yeah, snowboarders, and mountain bikers, and like night skiing, and uh, other things as well, Twitch integration, and, and whatnot, so um, that's all things they have in mind, and I have to say, I, I really like the idea, the gameplay is quite fun. Um, it works really well, as I said, UI is fantastic. Let's take a look at the option menu, which is in general really good as well. Well, the UI is not fantastic, but the controls are, I guess I should specify. So um, we have graphics, resolution, uh, graphics settings, which are pretty good. We have waterless and window mode. No real full screen mode, unfortunately, but well, yeah, uh, at least we have waterless, so that's good. Um, we have resolution options with a different hertz settings as well. Uh, we have a graphics slider, or we can go in more detail with anti-aliasing settings. Um, and uh, shadow quality, you can turn on or off ambient conclusion and camera effects. So that's pretty neat. Not much more, like there's nothing I really missed except maybe for a V-Sync option that would probably be useful. As, as I said, real full screen, that would be good as well. Um, three different sound sliders and a mute all button, that's nice. Rebindable keys um, for a lot of different hotkeys, like the game is full of hotkeys, which is fucking great. You cannot rebind all the keys but some, like the delete key has three different entries. Uh, it would be nice to just have two or three bindings for everything, but I, I guess that, like that's really not super necessary, but that's the most perfect way of doing it, I guess. Um, but this works as well, I guess. Um, so that's pretty nice. You have different hotkeys for the different um, kinds of, well, part, parts of the game and extra camera settings, so that's good. You can set up your recorder, because as I said, he records, or you can record the your, your tries, or, or your, your solutions, I should say, and um, you can turn on or off cameras moving and clear your safe data. So that's that's pretty good. Like, this option menu is fantastic. Um, the game in general feels very polished, except for those small UI issues I mentioned earlier. Well, one of them is pretty, pretty big, the one with the foundations, that's really weird. Um, but the game looks cute. Oh, I can highlight them. Huh, weird. Um, and uh, it works well, like especially if you enjoyed games like Bridge Builder back in the days, then this is 
probably pretty good for you because it's definitely a lot of fun. There's a lot of content, as I said, a powerful level editor with workshop um, compatibility. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. Uh, maybe wait for full release if you're not super, like if you like you did. I guess it's a little better to wait for full release with, as it always is with early access games or usually is at least. Um, Seems like the devs are know what they're doing. There, there are apparently three guys, I think, I read on the Steam page, and it's their first game. But I think for the first game, they did a fantastic job um, in on getting like the foundation done. Like the game, okay, you can you can like or dislike the game this, or this kind of game. But like from a technical point of view, this is amazing. There's pretty good UI, pr amazing controls, um, a lot of different good options for a PC games, so I really dig that. As I said, I like, I like, I just like watching those skiers go, it's, <laughs> they're cute. Oh yeah, there are, <laughs> there's snow cannons as well, they actually have an effect. They will, like, they will be low, can be below um, the chairlift, and they will push the skiers up in the air um, if they're too close above it, which will make your lift swing a lot, which can be quite dangerous. So that's an interesting mechanic as well. Um, and they're planning on adding more features like that and uh, like little physics based items and things like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to the complete version of this game. It's called Carried Away. It's gonna go into early access, well, today when you watch this video, um, because there's an embargo on it, uh, on the 4th of October. So yeah, I'm TH Pine. Link is in the description below. Thanks, thanks a lot for watching, like links to the game, obviously. Have fun and see you next time.